it's always exciting to get a new camera in your hands and having shot with a 1DC for the last four years, I was very excited when Canon asked me to road test the video capabilities of the 1DX Mark II. So when I was thinking about an extreme environment for a bit of a test run, we thought it doesn't get much more extreme than this. We're in the middle of winter off Senja Island in Norway, in the Northeast Atlantic Ocean. It's uh, dark water, incredibly cold. It's a pretty harsh environment, and let's see how the camera goes. One aspect I've always loved about the Canon 1 Series cameras is that they are rugged workhorses. Here in Norway, the air temperatures have been down to minus 20 and the water a chilly two degrees. The vision may not look it, but it's incredibly dark here in the freezing water. These are the most gloomy conditions I've experienced with no direct sunlight hitting the water. Being able to shoot at much higher ISOs with clean results has made filming possible. It's great to see recording capabilities of 50 and 60 frames per second whilst shooting 4K with the addition of up to 120 frames in full HD. There are many times which I want the resolution of 4K combined with the aesthetic of slow motion and this camera wraps them together beautifully. But for me, the live view autofocus with tracking is the most exciting new feature about this camera. One of the big challenges with shooting video on DSLRs is hitting sharp focus manually and this intelligent tracking system actually enables the camera to do the focus pulling for you. I'm a lover of glide cam and until now it was impossible for me to move towards a subject and have the focus track in. It's the new dual pixel CMOS sensor that allows this focus technology to function. I found it incredibly responsive even in low light conditions. I'm just looking through some of the images that we've just shot here and it's really exciting. This is, this is what I've always wanted. I've always dreamed to have this sort of feature. It's just gonna open up all sorts of possibilities to have this sort of performance uh, with low light and high frame rate. It's very, very impressive. Thank you.